I went in thinking, I know about Edward Snowden. I know the story. I've, I've read about him, and I know how I feel about it. And I was shocked that when I walked out, I had rethought mm. my position, had a slightly different opinion than I went in with, but was struck by the debate that was going on with people that had been um, at the movie. Mm-hmm. I'm curious about about what that felt like as an actor and how you went into this film, and did your feelings change? Uh, sure. Well, I mean, so to me, it a lot of it comes down to uh, what Scott was just talking about of, of uh, you know, what what does it mean to be a patriot? And um, I think in, in this movie, you see a sort of a dramatic evolution of a guy who begins as one kind of patriot because one thing I didn't know about Edward Snowden before doing this movie was uh, in 2004, he enlisted in the U.S. Army. He wanted to go I fight know, I didn't in know Iraq. that either. So, you know, and that's that's one kind of patriotism. Uh, where that didn't you, work out so well for him. Now, he broke both of his legs in, <laughs> in basic training, so he was not able to, to go fight in Iraq, and eventually he ended up, you know, working in intelligence. But, um, you know, in, in 2004, he's the kind of patriot that just believes that what his country is doing is right, no matter what, and uh, isn't one to really ask questions about that. Over the course of nine years of his life, working for the CIA, working for the NSA, seeing what he sees, seeing these laws be broken uh, by these secret programs, uh, he becomes what what I consider to be another kind of patriot, which is someone who who loves the country, loves what it stands for, and is willing to stand up and say, hey, I'm not sure that this thing the government is doing is really what my country is about. And, And that kind of patriot is only really possible in a country like ours, the United States, a free country where we have the right and, and the privilege to ask those questions and to disagree with our government. And, you know, this is, this is a big part of why I'm so grateful to be from here is, is that we have that privilege. A lot of people all over the world don't have those rights. They live in places where you're not allowed to have conversations uh, questioning the government. And um, the government just does things in secret without ever discussing them with the public. And what Edward Snowden saw was our government behaving like one of those other governments. And he decided uh, to stand up and and, uh, do something about it. 